Hi, Danielle here. Welcome to Danielle's Corner. Today I'm going to be sharing um, a story time, a story from when my daughter was born. Um, not really when she was born, but about three, two to three weeks after she was born. Everything was fine. She was healthy. Uh, birth went great. Everything was perfect. Took her home. Everything was great. But about two or three weeks um, after she was born, she started just being like fussy and just like you know, like, not right. So, um, we took her to the emergency room, and because she, they checked her out, and she had a slight fever, and I guess if they're under a month old, they shouldn't have a fever. That's what they told us at the time. So, they wanted to admit her. So, they admitted her, kept her, um, I believe just overnight, if I remember correctly, and, um, she was like fine they took you know they they I think they started giving her antibiotics right away if I remember correctly they started giving her antibiotics right away and um, kept her overnight kept her you know just just monitored her everything seemed okay the next day they were going to actually be sending her home so we were getting ready actually to believe to be leaving it was my mom and myself in the room with her and I was feeding her um, a bottle and all of a sudden she just started turning like bluish purplish and like just got like stiff and like she wasn't breathing like there was nothing <laughs> just nothing so my mom turned around and pressed that they had like this emergency button um no actually she didn't press the emergency button she called the nurse so she went out and she called the nurse and the nurse came in and she's like can maybe just pat her on the back but like she was so like stiff, I couldn't move her. And so the nurse grabbed her, she's the one that pushed the emergency button. And then like, I don't know, doctors from all over came flying in. I didn't even know that these doors that were there like flung open like all the way. Several doctors came in, they shooed my mom and I out. I was like hysterical, I didn't know what was happening. We didn't know what was going on. So anyway, they got her, I guess they said what, they don't really know what happened, but they said she had a lot of like fluid in her lungs, so they got her all suctioned out. They got all that fluid out, suctioned out. Of course, we didn't go home that day. They actually put moved her into the ICU, which was lots of fun. Um, so she got moved to ICU. Parents are not supposed to stay. They're not supposed to have visitors. Not, not visitors, but um, people stay with them overnight, but I was not going to leave. So um, I basically just slept in a, in a rocking chair for, I think it was a couple of nights. They had her on all these like heart monitors and everything. They had an IV in her, and then, this was absolutely horrible, her IV, um, they couldn't find, you know, because like a little infant, she's an infant, her veins are small and, and little, and so they couldn't get a good one, so they literally had to like shave her head, and they pat an IV in, in her head, because that's the only place that she, they could find a, um, a vein that they could actually use. So, that was horrible. They did like a couple of tests on her that were just horrible. I mean, she's this a baby and that's my baby, you know, and you're there and ugh, just horrible. But they did lots of tests, blood work tests. They did like a, a thing with a bottle when they ran her through a scanner to make sure that she swallowed right. I believe they did like a spinal tap on her if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, they did do a spinal tap on her, and yeah, it was just, it was horrible. They did so many tests on her, so many things. Um, I was sleeping in a, in a rocking chair. They didn't have anything. Um, you have all these other babies around, like children, babies, because this is like the pediatric ICU that are sick and just it's not a fun place to be so you have these other ones around that you're just your heart is breaking for them um that have been there for a while and it's just horrible but anyway they eventually gave us our own room because obviously i wasn't leaving <laughs> so they ended up giving us a room um with a bed so then i had a bed and we had a tv so she had a little crib 
so we were in there I think she was in there for like a week and yeah it was not a good time it was not fun they ran all kinds of tests um, she was then like after that she was like fine like after a week of being there and monitoring her and testing her they literally did not find anything wrong with her <laughs> so after a week we got sent home and here we are 28 years later and <laughs> she's healthy and fine and um, yeah we don't know what happened I don't know if um, what I kind of think I don't know I'm not a doctor this is just what I thought throughout the years is that maybe when she was born they didn't suction her out well enough and then you know maybe it was bothering her so that's why we took her to the hospital because she was fussy and not you know like something's off you just don't feel right and maybe that's why um, I feel like definitely it was God that had us there at the hospital because if we hadn't been at the hospital and she would have done that at home I don't know what I would have done if I had been because most of the time not most of the time but a lot of the times I was at home alone with her so God definitely had us at the hospital for a reason she's still here with us thank God and um, yeah so we never found out I think maybe she just wasn't suctioned out right when she was born and then you know it just caused like a ripple effect once they got her all suctioned out I think everything that just you know was what was the problem and so then she was fine also they put her on antibiotics right away so I don't know if maybe that if she did have like a virus or I don't know I've had people ask me if she had RSV but I don't think it was RSVP RSVP RSV because she didn't have any issues with breathing you know um, but yeah so I don't know what happened what you know exactly was wrong with her that's my thoughts that's the week that we lived in the pediatric ICU it was horrible I don't wish that on anybody if anybody ever has had to do that or has dealt with something like that my thoughts and prayers are most definitely with you it is the most horrible thing to have to go through I'm just thankful and I'm so blessed that she is still here with us and that everything worked out just fine for us so we're truly blessed and yeah that's my story of when um, my baby was in the ICU for a week <laughs> so definitely consider subscribing um, let me know if you have want to hear any other stories or any kind of videos um, and yeah that that's about it for this video I hope you all are having an amazingly blessed day and an amazingly blessed week and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!